let's understand the concept of crowding distance crowding distance is used, generally used uh, between the uh, solution of the same front when the solutions lie in the same front because we cannot decide the priority uh, of uh, between the solution in the same front uh, so we used to select those solutions which have higher crowding distance so uh, we can also say that crowding distance also measure the diversity or density uh, of the solution so to st estimate the density of a solution surrounding by a particular solution i uh, is known as the crowding distance for example if we have a solution i this is a solution i then the cuboid which is formed by the nearby solution of that solution uh, is if if any cuboid is formed by the nearby solution then the perimeter of this cuboid is uh, known as the crowding distance for this solution i now uh, in nsga2 we generally apply the crowding short based on the crowding distance and uh, the the solutions which have the higher crowding distance is selected uh, to include to be included in the next iteration population so the procedure for crowding short on any front with this operator this operator is generally used for the uh, crowding distance and crowding sorting so the first step is to we have to measure the number of solutions which is present in the front uh, in which we have to select the uh, least crowded uh, solution so l is equal to mod of f and also we have assigned the uh, crowding distance initial value to 0 for each of the solution i in f so i is a solution which is belongs to f now because it is a multi objective uh, scenario for each m is equal to 1 to capital m, m total number of objectives where capital m is a total number of objectives we have to sort the solutions in front f in worse order of the fitness values in first objective or second objective to o m objective and the indices uh, after sorting is returned and stored in set i m m may be uh, vary from 1 to capital m now uh, once you uh, once uh, the, the this is calculated this uh, index vector is calculated then we assign the largest distance to a boundary solution so after uh, after uh, so suppose we have um, one two three four four or five solutions available and we have some fitness value for f1 and f2 suppose the fitness values are 8 1 2 3 9 and here fitness values are 1 1 2 2 3 okay so this uh, this is for f2 this is for f1 so we have to short first we have to sort according to first objective and uh, suppose the set i1 would be uh, because we have to sort in the worst order and if it is minimized minimization problem then the maximum value is the worst value so here fifth index will come then uh, uh, the second uh, worst value is uh, of solution 1 the third worst value of solution 4 the fourth worst values of solution 3 and the uh, less worst value of solution 2 similarly we can find out the i2 and the worst solution is 5 then the second worst is 4 and 3 and the third worst is 1 and 2 now uh, the boundary solutions are the solutions which are at boundaries in this index set so for example the the value for boundary solution is always assigned the crowding distance is always assigned as a maximum or may, you can assign infinity value for these types of solutions now for rest of the solution for, for example if in this case one four three are the rest of the solution in this front and uh, uh, we have to calculate the value of d1 we have to calculate the value of d4 and d3 so d1 is equal to the d1 plus the value for the neighboring solutions so uh, we have to calculate the uh, fitness uh, fetch the fitness value of the next solution so f uh, f4 in first objective minus f5 in first objective divided by the previous so next neighbor and the previous neighbor of 1 are 4 and 5 and the maximum value may be anything uh, you can consider any maximum value you, I can consider the maximum value from between this snippet or any value or uh, sometimes the maximum value is given in the question so suppose I am uh, selecting the maximum value as five, uh, maximum value as uh, 9 maximum fitness value as 9 and minimum fitness value as 1 so this is 0 initially d1 is 0 plus f1 uh, fitness value of 4 solution in first objective is 3 
fitness value of fifth solution in first objective is nine, and divide by uh, eight. So whatever the value is there. Similarly, we calculate calculate D four and D three. Okay. So this is how we uh, calculate the crowding distance for the intermediate solutions. So intermediate solutions have some values. After that, we apply the same procedure for the second uh, indices vector means i is equal i two, and uh, for i two the uh, boundary solutions are five and one. So for D five and D one is is infinitive, and for rest of the solutions D four we have to calculate D four. D three and D one. So to calculate D four, D three, and D one, uh, uh, actually uh, uh, the value for D four. Uh, so for example, to calculate the value of D four, it is like D four plus uh, objective uh, D four plus uh, the next solution is three in the in the objective space two minus. Previous solution is five in objective space two divided by maximum value of this objective is three and minimum value is one. So this is the formula. And here the value of D four is used, which is calculated previously in the set I one when we when we calculate the value for the set I one. So after uh, completing all the objectives, suppose we have three or four or five objectives, we continuously calculating the crowding distance in. Uh, first, uh, in in the increasing order, the in increasing order of objective function uh, functions. So, because in this case, I just showed the example for the two objective functions. So, we have only two sets of i, i one and i two. If you have more than one uh, two objective functions, the set is increasing, and based on the set, we calculate the crowding distance, and we include the updated crowding distance in the previous fitness function. For the next iteration of our fitness function, so this is all about uh, the idea of the crowding distance. We calculate this crowding distance in order to solve the problems for NSGA two multi-objective optimization, and this is very important step. If you have any doubt regarding calculation of crowding distance, then you can uh, write these doubts in the comment section. I will uh, try to resolve these uh, problems. Thank you very much for watching this.